Hey guys, it's past Thanksgiving and right around that time is when we take down our decorations. My wife always gets, uh, you know, corn stalks to put outside and at this time of year I get all the um, corn off of the, the stalks. This is dent corn uh, or some people call it field corn. Now what I like to do with this is actually you can take the corn off and make it into cornmeal and then make cornbread out of it. So I'm going to show you how I make my uh, cornmeal out of field corn. The first step to using this field corn is to just get all these kernels off of the cob. So it's very easy. All I do is I like to press in, take a few rows off first. Whoop, getting it all over the place. It's okay. And then after you get like maybe two rows off, it, it's really easy to just pull down. You can see that you just pull straight down on the row and it comes off really quickly. Now that we have the corn taken off of the cob, we go to the next step, which is going to be grinding it up. And I'm just gonna use this coffee grinder. And you grind it up, and then it's gonna go over to this next little station. And we're gonna use this uh, uh, strainer and a plate, and then we're gonna shake out the corn, um, shake out the cornmeal from there. Just take this, gonna throw the corn in, pretty much fill it up. Put it on your grinder, and you know you could, if you had, um, didn't have any electric or something, you could use a mortal and pestle, and just pound it until it's done. But we're just going to do it the fast way today. And then we're just going to grind this. Now to make it sure that it's the right consistency, I just take this. I'm going to flip it over. And it's not going to be fully ground, so when you look at it, you can still see pieces in there, but that's no problem, because all we're going to do is we're going to put it in here, and I like to do like a little bit of a tapping of the hand, so I just tap it against my hand, and as you can see, the cornmeal is coming out the bottom. The bigger pieces stay in the strainer. Once I feel like I got most of the small stuff out, I take the, the lid. I'm just going to pour it in. I'm going to do this over my corn, though, just in case some spills out. I don't want it to go into my cornmeal. Then I add a little bit more corn, And I just do it all over again. So I have a little bit more corn, but the um, chopped up pieces. And I find doing it this way actually helps chop up the smaller pieces. I don't know, there's something about having some bigger pieces in there that seems to help the process. And you just keep on going until all your corn is cornmeal. So I'm gonna continue to do this and I'm gonna show you the final product. I'm finished, and this is what you get. Just some cornmeal, and I'm just gonna put this in my mason jar. You could use this some junk mail. Just take a uh, piece of junk mail that you get, and we're gonna make it into a funnel. Got a funnel, stick it right in there. Here's our, my jar of cornmeal. Uh, great thing about this is I find that about two cobs of corn will yield about two cups of cornmeal, which is enough to make a loaf of cornmeal bread that I like to make. So it's, and you can only, only have to do this with field corn. You can actually do it with Indian corn too. And either one will work great. Obviously, coming up soon, you'll see my cornbread recipe and uh, this is a great way to use something it makes my wife happy because she gets her decorations and I'm happy because I get to make corn cornbread out of the cornmeal that it comes from it all right guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe share this with your friends like this and 
We'll see you in the next video.